must be my heart. My life can't stop my heart. I love that freaking song, man. Yo, we are back with Motley Crew. This is Girls, Girls, Girls. Um, I had so much fun with, with Kickstart My Heart. Um, it was so fun and refreshing to um, hear a band of the 80s. You know, and it's so crazy because I, I just reacted to a band from the 60s. So just hearing the drastic difference that 20 years makes, you know, just hearing the difference in music and production and video in just the matter of 20 years. Um, humans, we're, we're, we could be pretty dumb, but we're also pretty amazing. You know, just wanted to throw that out there. Um, but anyway, Motley Crue, Girls, 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 official music video. Never heard it, at least to my knowledge. And um, I'm just so excited to, to continue my Motley Crue uh, journey so we'll do the song research afterwards but let's not waste no time man let's get into it Anytime we show love to the ladies, I'm always down. I'm never, I, I, you'll find no objection from me. Um, I love, for one, the music video. I mean, the 80s, man. Again, I just, I envy everything pre-90s. Um, it just seemed like such, it just seemed like so much fun. The style the the it just seemed like everything just had a little bit more life than anything that you see today um and just fashion music videos everything but um yeah you'll you'll never find any complaints from me when we give love to the ladies and the fact that i'm gonna assume he's naming real clubs or real spots where um, they have gone and met and interacted with women. Um, I just find that hilarious because that sounds like something Drake or somebody would do. Um, but that's that's hilarious. This is this is this is amazing.
Yeah. Yeah, that's a vibe. So that's definitely for the ladies right there. Um, this is one of those records, as I always say, you want a hit record, you got to appeal to the women or the kids. Clearly, this is for the women. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest if this was a big hit. But we're going to find out right now. Give me one second. Girls, girls, girls. Yeah, Kickstart My Heart is definitely more my vibe than this. Um, this was a fun record. Um, but, and it's catchy, of course. Um, and it's definitely probably a song that if you were in the bars or the clubs in the 80s, this would have got the women going. So naturally, it would have got you going. But just listening to the song, it wasn't, it wasn't, I feel like Kickstart My Heart is like, it, again, not comparing the two, but just, well, I kind of am, um, but just in comparison between the two songs, it's, it just feel like Kickstart My Heart, um, just a little bit more to it, um, lyrics wise. Um, composition wise, it was just a lit like you could tell. This was they went in the studio. I maybe it wasn't the label, maybe it was them, but they said, I just want to make a song for the ladies, get the ladies going. And while that's a great strategy for success, for critical acclaim, for commercial success, that's great for critical success probably not the best route to go but it was a good record uh it's from their fourth studio album released may 15th 1987 oh this is from the oh so the album was called girls 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 and of course this was the single gotcha gotcha so let me click on the single the single was released may 11th 1987 electra records um, glam metal. I could definitely agree with that. This is the first time I've seen a song clatter, uh, categorized as glam metal, and I agree. Definitely glam metal. Um, the track was thoroughly pre produced and was then recorded at different studios over the course of several weeks, starting with the drum uh, parts then bass and guitar, and finally vocals. Song references several strip clubs, including the Tropicana, the Body Shop, 7th Vale, all located on Sunset Strip in Los Angeles, California. The Marble Arch, the Dollhouse, the famous Crazy Horse in Paris, France, and Tattle Tales in Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia. I'm sitting here looking at the crazy horse. From the outside looking at Beyonce's video partition. Oh, was inspired. I thought it was going to say it was filmed there. Um, okay. Yeah, this was uh this was definitely for the ladies right here. It was number twelve on the hot one hundred. Yeah. I'm surprised it didn't make it in the top ten. Yeah, man, again, if you want to hit record, just appeal to the women or appeal to the to the kids and you got it. And this was definitely one of those, but a fun record. And I understand why a lot of people like it. And um Nothing really. Now the solo at the end is the standout for me. I really love the solo. That was definitely like it almost caught me off guard, and it went on for about a good forty-five, almost a minute solo, which I haven't really heard recently. Um, outside of Zeppelin, I haven't really heard a lot of long like 
just a long, thorough, you know, enticing guitar solo. Um, so that was kind of refreshing to hear. But um, overall, good song. Uh, not a favorite. But I definitely want to hear it again. I want to hear it again. And I'll do it on my own time. But I, I definitely want to hear it again and, and maybe get a different feel for it. Because a lot of times, and y'all probably, well, yeah, of course y'all won't know this. But a lot of times I'll listen to songs, my first reaction here. And again, these are genuinely my first reaction to these songs. So when I listen to them here, and then I listen to them again, maybe in a car or just a different setting. I have a different fit, and it, it can be good or bad. There's been times where I love the song during a reaction, and then I listen to it somewhere else, and I was like, eh. and maybe it just was bad timing, bad mood, or something like that. And then there's been times where I listen to songs where I was like, ah, eh. and then I listen to it again. I'm like, oh, you know, so I'm definitely going to listen to it again and, and see if I get a different feel from it. But considering that this was just clearly a, a, a song that was for commercial success, again, appealing to women, not much subject matter, um, you know, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But um, y'all let me know what else from Motley Crue I need to check out. Definitely from a style and just energy perspective. I love them. So I definitely want to hear more and learn more about them. And I want to learn more about that beef with Guns N' Roses. I got to know what happened. I'm just, I'm a nosy. I'm, I'm nosy. I got to find out what happened. So we definitely going to get into that. But as always, like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time with Motley Crue. Peace.